everybody. <coughs> Today we're at New York City, JFK Airport, on a Sunday, and it's uh, 10 minutes to 4, and I'm on live, live feed. And uh, what a beautiful, beautiful day. Look at this. Incredible. But you know, we fly in sunshine and perfectly sky days and yeah, it's nice, but let's do it real. Let's do it real. Anyway, I'm just going to fly around locally around the airport, just take a look at it, see how busy it is and uh, see what we can get into here. But uh, let's just pick her up and do a quick check. Slide left, right, forward, whoops, backwards, yeah, I think we're good. All right, let's go ahead and taxi out of this slot here. Let's head over to the, uh, down by fuel row here. Look at all these fuel trucks. So uh, anyway, I did the uh, the Microsoft uh, update the other day with absolutely no troubles. I was shocked. I mean, it really it didn't take long at all to do it, and um, yeah. So I was like, that's cool. So far, I've not had any problems, but the uh, the upgrade or the update we had before that was horrible, and it still is. I mean, I'm, I'm having all kinds. I'm still having all kinds of problems since that since that update. I didn't have them before then, but I lose my radios. I lose my avionics. Sometimes I'll start up right after a fresh reboot and uh, my garments don't uh, fire up so you have to just keep rebooting until uh, you know until they pop up but uh, I mean I just did a a fresh reboot before this flight so it's going to stutter I know it is eventually because this is just so much graphic for uh, the Xbox so it wouldn't surprise me if we don't get stuttering here pretty soon. And usually what I'll do is just kind of slow down, try not to maneuver around too much, and it'll limit it. It'll limit the stuttering. But um, yeah, she's she's already stuttering. But when you think about it, I mean, think about all that. We got I got rain, we got fog in here, we got low clouds, we got different textures of lighting going on, we got moving aircraft, we have building light. It's amazing what we've got here and how this little Xbox is handling it. So, you know, I really can't complain. And uh, I started out with the very first flight simulator years ago. I'm talking the very first one. And uh, it's come such a long way. And I've had every one of them. There's not one I don't have, so. And um, I'm excited for the uh, 2024. I'm really looking forward to that. So JFK's, uh, their gates are pretty well taken today. A lot of planes in here. We've got planes lined up on the active. Which is nice. But you got a lot of uh, a lot of simmers here that um, you know they got places they're going to, I man. These guys are flying worldwide stuff. I don't know how they do it, but you know, you get it all set up and you 
you fly for a while and then you go have dinner and maybe go to bed get up in the morning and come back and check and see what part of the Atlantic you're on so visibility sucks it's really bad but look at the look at the lighting in here looking through the windows of the buildings it's it's mind-boggling it's mind-boggling it's so cool so you know I bitch and I moan and I groan about certain things and we all do because now we're getting spoiled we want everything perfect so when little things happen you start you know like what the hell is going on well you gotta think about it how far they've come how far are they gonna go you know in 2024 it's gonna be pretty cool I think got the sun reflecting on the water over there it's pretty cool looking JFK is a huge airport. My God. It take you a while to get used to where you know all the sections are. Like, I like to fly out of here with you know cargo sometimes. So try to put yourself on the cargo side and not the. Uh, passenger side and terminals and all that kind of stuff so put yourself in where the uh, where the actual cargo uh, depots are FedEx DHL uh, UPS hell I've seen Amazon planes in here so uh, yeah it's really cool Tell you what, let's let's take this puppy up. I'm just curious where she's gonna where the ceiling is. There's a thousand foot. We still got lights. Fifteen hundred feet. Still got lights. And of course, the rain and stuff is coming in waves down there. And I don't know if you, how many of you, are from the East Coast, but East Coast uh, in the New York area and New England area are going to get pounded with some nasty weather. There's like predicted 90 mile an hour winds on Cape Cod this weekend uh, Washington DC area and stuff they've already gotten some pretty good thunderstorms have rolled through and Delaware has gotten quite a few thunderstorms lightning thunder little wind not bad yet but it's gonna get bad so So anyway, I just thought I'd go ahead and get up on a nice day at a busy airport and uh, take a look at things here. Pretty cool. Let's go forward for a little bit. I love these uh, these catering trucks. Pretty realistic. Real logos. It's pretty cool. Alright, so we'll just pull her up to a hover right about here. Take a look around.
a lot of wind right now. Now that almost looks like snow coming down. Wouldn't surprise me if it's not. That doesn't look like rain. That looks like snow. Holy crap. I have to bring the weather up right quick to take a look and see what they're saying. Let's take a look at the weather right quick. I can't touch that. Tell you what, here's what we'll do. We'll go to. We'll pick up the airport. Right there. See what their weather looks like. Here we go. So we got uh, winds are 180 at 14 knots. See the Wind's coming out of the south, that's why it's warm here right now, it's in the 60s. Half mile, invisibility and rain. And uh, we're sitting at 400 foot scattered. Uh, two, let's see, 200 broken. 400 overcast. It's nasty. Yeah. It's nasty. And I guess it's rain. In the lights it looked like... Uh, in the landing lights it looks like snow. Well, let's go up. Now this is what's interesting. Look at these layers here. This is something I don't think I had seen before. And I noticed that it moves through so you'll be in a pretty decent clear spot and then within seconds you're you know you're in it so we're slowly losing visibility here definitely IFR right now Coming up to 2,000 feet. We're only we're we're sitting at 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 about 40 knots. So two thousand three hundred. Take a look over at the west. A little brighter. Hmm. Interesting. We're definitely in the suit. Let's go outside. It's windy too, really windy. There's 3,000 feet, we're still in it.
Let's see, so we're climbing about a thousand foot per minute. Coming up to 4,000. If I don't see some light break out, we'll start heading back down. See the sun a little better. All right, let's put a reduction of power in. Now she comes down much faster than it goes up. When I was in Washington State years ago, we would take off from the airfields there in, in helicopters and it would be zero visibility on the ground. And it, in Washington state sometimes it'll go days with zero visibility, I mean days. And uh, you know, you, you get in and you pull up pitch and you go straight up and within, I don't know, 300 feet we would break out it was just beautiful, just gorgeous, beautiful tops of the clouds. And you could see all the, the mountain tops, Mount Rainier, Mount St. Helens, Mount Shasta. The whole Cascade Range was just perfect. And, uh, and it was fun until you had to come back down. Thank God for uh, good uh, auto systems because uh, it was a little spooky coming back down through that stuff. You got to know exactly where you are. All right, so we're dropping a little over a thousand feet per minute. Pressures and temps look good. Uh, you can see the color changing already. The closer you get to the lights of the airport, notice how that amber light's coming in now. So we're coming at 2,000 feet. And JFK is not too many, uh, it's not too big, too high off of. Uh, the, uh, the uh, AGL wise. Now we're back into the rain. So we're 1500 feet. We still don't have anything. All we see is the lights. There's a little bit right down there. Just a little bit start to come through. I could see an airplane down there. So we're getting getting close. There we go. I'll drop her a little faster now. So we went to four thousand feet and um, there's nothing there. Didn't, we never broke out. Wow, look at the rain and the fog in here. It's incredible. Well, we'll find a spot to land and um, we'll call it a day. Well, wow, it just went to black and white, didn't it? That's really, that's really yucky outside when you, <laughs> you don't have any color. My God. Let's go find a spot. I would say it's getting worse in New York. A lot worse. Definitely raining harder.
yesterday in the south, those people down there in um, Tennessee and areas got really beat up. I feel so sorry for those people down there have to put up with tornadoes. Not that we don't have them where I'm from in, in Delaware. We have them on occasion, but not like that. And it, those things just are so freaking creepy because they always got to hit at nighttime. It's really bad. I lost quite a few people down there yesterday. It's too bad. I'm sorry to hear that. Sorry for the families. All right. We're going to put down right over here. Get her up to that building a little bit. Maybe block that wind. There is a lot of wind here. You don't see it much, but you can feel it. Oh my goodness. That sounds a lot worse than it really is. Okay, so anyway. I hope you enjoyed that flight. And, um... Kind of give you an interesting look at a really nasty weather. What it's like to fly in it. But, um... Yeah, hop in your aircraft. Go to New York City. Get some IFR time. All right, we'll talk to you all later.